Right, I'm having a rant. For years and years I have used this calculator. There it's there. You see that? It's a Casio FX85 GT Plus. Solar powered. That's what makes it an FX85. If it's not solar powered, it's FX83. Anyway, I've used that for 20 years. Wonderful. Then Casio brought out a new one. Then it's there. The FX83 GTX. Fabulous calculator. I've been using that for about the past five years. And now Casio have brought out this monster. The Casio FX83 GT CW. There it is. Some of you may have used that in your most recent exams. I hope not. Or if you have, I hope you know how to use it. The buttons are different. Some buttons are missing. But more importantly, there's an issue that uh, Mr. McLean from Bredalbin pointed out to me. And I'm going to show you what that issue is. And we're going to use the National 5 2022 paper, question 17. Let's go and find it. Right, I've gone to the Calder Glen High School Physics website. This is a fabulous website. It's got all the resources you need for National 5 Higher and Advanced Higher Physics. And we are going to go to the National 5 page to the SQA Pass Papers and we're looking for the 2022 Paper 1 Multiple Choice Question 17. And we'll use this as an example to show you what's wrong with the new Casio calculator. So, there's the question. A cyclist and his bicycle have got a mass of 70 kilograms. The area of contact on the ground is 8 times 10 to the minus 4 square metres. And we have to find the average pressure exerted by the tyres on the road. So, we go to our relationship sheet. And we're looking for pressure equals force over area. P equals F over A. And the force, in this case, is the weight of the cyclist and his bicycle. That's 70 kilograms times 9.8 gives us the 686 newtons. And that's quite important. Then we're going to divide that weight by the area. 8 times 10 to the minus 4. And if you do the arithmetic correctly, you get 857500, and that rounds to 8.6 times 10 to the 5 pascals. And if we put it in standard form to 2 sig figs. So that's the right answer. 8.6 times 10 to the 5, that's answer E. Now, how do you arrive at that answer on a calculator? Now, if I'm doing this on either of those old calculators, then all I would have to do is, turn it on, yeah, is I do 70 times 9.8 equals, and there's my 686, that's the weight of the guy, divided by the contact area, which was 8.0 times 10 to the minus 4, and I get my answer of 857500. 857500 gives me my correct answer of 8.6 times 10 to the 5. And that works when you use that calculator or that calculator. Alternatively, there's the fraction button. You can do it using the fraction button, which was there originally on the calculator. And I can do uh, the mass 7a times gravity 9.8 divided by the 8.0 times 10 to the minus 4 and there's my answer 857500 857500 all good but and here's the big but wait till you see what happens when we try on this new calculator so I need to do 70 times 9.8 that gives me my weight 686 that's what we want. But then if we press divided by the area, which is 8.0 times 10 to the power of minus 4, execute. There's the answer we get. Now it's a fraction. We want it as a decimal. If you want it as a decimal, you've either got to press format, go down a decimal, and press execute again. There's the answer. And that 
is the wrong answer. And that's a problem. If you want the right answer, here's what you've got to do. You have to use the fraction button. You have to. Let's go 70 times 9.8 divided by 8.0 times 10 to the minus 4. Execute. And if we execute that, we get the right answer. You have to use the fraction button. If you try and do it the old way, that's the way I would have done it with an old Casio calculator, then it ain't going to work. And the reason for that is the times 10 to the power button no longer functions the way it used to do. And that's, a, that's an issue with these calculators. You have to use the fraction button. Watch out for that. It's a pain in the neck. Do I like this new calculator? No, I don't. Am I going to use it? No, I'm not. What am I going to use? My trusty old FX85 GT Plus. Thanks a lot. See you in the next one.